right guys, I'm back. So I'm gonna do the second tree now. This is the one that I've had for a couple of years. Give me a little spinny spin here. I'm gonna do a light trim on the branches. Not much. I'm just gonna try to get it in more of a, um, what's the word, half cylinder shape, I guess you could say. Cause right now it's kind of going up like this too much. And I'm gonna repot it into this pot right here. So I, I really like how these pots are looking and I got each one of these for like five or six bucks uh, here in town. So, um, so I'm, I'm happy with these. So I'm gonna pot it in here. I'm gonna keep this as sort of a formal upright style as opposed to the last one, which was more of the S shape. So uh, follow me now. Let's take it out of the soil it's in, give it a little rinse, put it in this new pot. Mm. All right, so I'm back here. Sorry about the noise, uh, like I stated earlier, if you were watching on the other tree, it's May 2nd, 2020, and you know, everybody's been in quarantine for a couple of months, and quarantine just ended here in Idaho. So uh, everybody's outside, and it's beautiful out, and so everybody's out playing and doing yard work and all the fun stuff, just like me right now. So here we go. So there's the tree. You already see I'm gonna have to do some root pruning, as you can see here. The roots are a little outside of the pot. So I'm just gonna go and trim on the outside like so. Like that. Just a little more, a couple areas. I, again, like I uh, said on the last tree, I lately I've been trying to preserve as much roots and as much foliage as I can. I'm not a big fan anymore of of doing major root prunes and major branch pruning. Sometimes it's it's necessary, um, but when it's not necessary, I try to avoid it because it certainly does not help the health of the tree at all. Anytime you're cutting off uh, roots and foliage, it's not helping the tree in any way. I shouldn't say that. There's an exception for every rule. Strategic cuts are okay, but anyways, long story short, I digress. All right, so you can see fits perfectly now. I'm actually really impressed with how well these roots did. I'm really glad that I uh, tried it in that training pot because it seems to have worked. So I'm just going to take a look here at the pot, make sure I pick the right side for it. I think right there is going to look good. No blemishes on the front of the pot there. That's why I chose that as a front. So now I'm going to put some soil in there. A little bit of spin, oh, a little maple seed fell in it. A little bit of spin, let's see, a little bit. Work that in. Oh, stick right there. And like the last one, I'm gonna speed through this part because this is typically the most boring part of the whole thing. So I'm just gonna. Work the soil in and fast forward so you don't have to watch 20 minutes of this. Instead, you can watch 30 seconds of it and then we'll look at the end product. So, here I go. Okay, so I got that part done. So I got the soil worked into the roots. Now I'm just gonna do a little bit of trimming on the branches here. And again, I'm not gonna take off much. Maybe just kind of trim off the edge of this a little bit, just so it's more of a kind of semi-circle shape there. So where I'm gonna do that, take a good look here. I'm gonna go right about there we've already got a branch coming out this way that's perfect that's what we want and up here we're going to do the same thing there on this side here we're going to take it off just a little bit it goes out a little too far from my taste so i'm going to go like this 
and I still think that this is going to be the front right here, but honestly, it's kind of like the other one. I could do either side. I could do that as a front or that as a front, but this being a little fuller, I think might end up being the back. This might end up being the front. So that being the case, considering trimming this up just a little, I'll just go like this. I think I'm just gonna leave it alone. A couple of uh, housekeeping spots like there. You don't want the leaves or the branches growing backwards into the tree. Really, I'm trying to get some branches to grow from here just to sort of match this a little bit so it balances out, but you know how it is when you try to get a tree to do something that it doesn't want to do, it just simply doesn't do it. A couple of other minor cuts there, there. I want to get too nitpicky, but while I'm looking at it and doing it, I might as well just do it. And, you know, sometimes it's better if it's not completely balanced because it just gives it a little more character. I mean, if it's too perfectly balanced and perfectly shaped, then really, is it, is it, does it even really resemble a tree? It just looks almost too perfect. So I try to get them nice, but perfectly okay with them being a little odd or a little off somewhere. So I'm gonna stick with that. So. That's this one in a nutshell. Let me give you a more 360 spin here. All right, so there they are. It's a tail of two tiger bark ficuses. <laughs> So just a quick reminder, this one I just got recently at a big box store. This one I've had for a couple of years. You can see the difference in the size of the trunk. This started off about that size. Um, you can also see the color is a little bit different because it's been outdoors all summer for two summers in a row where this probably never has. It's been sheltered in a greenhouse, I'm sure. Um, you can also see a difference in the color of leaves. This has really dark green leaves with some really bright green new growth this is kind of all uniform green um because you know comes from a big box store where it, and it's been inside and who knows what the conditions were but probably not as good as this so um, i will point out this has been in a greenhouse at my buddy ryan's house all of this winter um, but before that it was not so anyways that's it on these two so um I'm gonna have a quick little uh, bonus footage at the very end here just to show you what I did with the cuttings from these. So I'll show you how you can propagate new tiger bark ficuses. Um, when you do trims on these, they propagate very easy. So I'm gonna do a quick walkthrough right after this. But before that, I just wanna thank everybody for uh, subscribing and for liking on videos because um, I recently hit a milestone and hit a thousand subscribers. So I really appreciate everybody who subscribes. Um, it, it means a lot to me. We have. A lot of good conversations on the videos, so I encourage you to leave comments and, and uh, questions if you like. Um, I've learned a lot from talking with you guys. And hopefully you've learned something from me in turn, even if it's from watching me do something wrong. <laughs> as long as you learn something, that's, that's the point. So, um, so big thank you to everybody out there who watches these and, and subscribes and likes on the videos. So I, I definitely appreciate it. Thanks for watching today. And um, stay tuned here, and I'll show you what I do with these cuttings. Thanks.